Okay, folks, what we're going to do today is we're going to make, on a lazy Saturday afternoon, we're going to make a vegan, non-cholesterol goulash. I used to call it my welfare dish. And uh, this is all you need for a lazy Saturday afternoon. And uh, throw it all together. i got to get my cholesterol checked in another month, so I thought I might as well get back on this kick. But we'll throw it all together. It's a goulash, Wisconsin vegan goulash. Uh, welfare dish and uh, it's pretty good and just don't add any meat so let me get started okay as you see we have the uh, water boiling what I like to do is uh, whatever fresh vegetables I'm putting in this what I like to do is uh, add them just with my noodles so I cook the I throw the fresh veg you want to do as much fresh vegetables as you can I'm doing mostly canned stuff this time but uh, what I'm going to do is throw in my uh, I'm going to I'm going to toss in my onions and green peppers. And I'm going to let them boil a little bit. And uh and when I go with the noodles don't take long, but I like I like my vegetables. I like my vegetables to get uh I like to get them nice and uh soft. I can't stand raw vegetables. So you what you do is you throw in a little little salt here. A little salt on this in here a little bit and then uh, I gotta find my pepper toss in a little pepper just for the hell of it uh, and you put the top over it let, let them boil a little bit and then we'll go from there okay so now they're boiling the water's boiling pretty good onions are in there boiling pretty good uh, now the onions are boiling pretty good and uh, uh, so let me, what I like is these. I like the bow tie, if you can see them here. These little bow tie noodles. This is what I put in them. You can put any kind of noodle you want. Uh, again, uh, when I, growing up poor, <sighs> growing up poor, we just did the elbow noodles. That's all we could really afford, that my mom could afford. But I like these here. So now we got to cook these. And yeah, I mean, this is my one of my favorite favorites here. You can get them in anything. A uh, little, little pitch there for this company, whatever it is. And uh, uh, so what we'll do now is we let them cook. Let, let them boil 15 minutes probably somewhere in there. And then the onions and green peppers are going to get nice and cooked. Because that's my raw vegetables. I usually throw in mushrooms. But uh, raw mushroom, yeah, raw mushrooms and cook them. I like that, but I forgot when I was in the grocery store. It must be that da that damn mask got in my way, and I couldn't think. So, uh, so I do that. We'll cook them. We'll get them boiling, and stir them occasionally. Uh, Ten four. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we're, we got a fresh pot there. The noodles are cooking, and with the onions and the green peppers. Now we're gonna dump all this into there, like our. We'll kind of get that all preheated before we dump in our noodles. So we'll dump this stuff in and uh, and we'll go from there. So, oh, damn good. So we got um, the stewed tomatoes. Got the, got the corn, whole kernel corn. You got the whole kernel corn here. Let me make sure we get that on camera. Whole, we got the whole kernel of corn. If I guess if I show it to you, you can see it. So we dump that in. Get that in. Now we got the we got the peas. We got the peas here, and uh, we dump those in. We got them all. We, we drain all that water out of there. Now these I've never did this before. These are greens. Now I don't know. We'll see. They're greens. We'll put them in. We'll mix them in. Uh, again. Again, you can throw in about anything you want into this uh, welfare dish. And now the kidney beans, uh, you know, I just grab these here. Support Goya. Support Goya. And uh, throw those in. And uh, then I got, I got lima beans. Put these in. So, uh, got that. And then we're going to mix, we're going to mix some tomato juice with it now. And uh, we'll throw in a bunch of tomato juice. We'll probably put this whole thing in here to mix up. We'll start heating this. So then when the noodles go in, these are already these are already heated. So 
So uh, this is what we well, we do for starters. Put this whole can of that in. Hang on, hang on. I got a cramp in my I got a cramp in my uh, cramp in my elbow. Oh God. Okay, let me have a swallow here. Okay, so let me get this on the stove and start heating it. Okay, so now we're heating this pan. And uh, as you'll see, we'll mix it up here. But we're going to heat this other pan while our, while our noodles are cooking. i got to break up those greens. See, you see, you get a little bit of it here. i got to break up those greens. And, because uh, they're in a big bunch. But uh, we'll see. That should be pretty good. It's looking really, it's looking really good, folks. It is looking really good. The Mexican stewed tomatoes. Um, and, uh, oh, I forgot. i got to add some jalapenos here. So hang on one second. Let me get some jalapenos. I think I got some. You got to have jalapenos. You got to have jalapenos in here. So there's some jalapenos I'm going to add. I mean, that's up. A lot of people don't like jalapenos here. What I do is I, I toss in a bunch. And uh, uh, maybe use up the rest of these jalapenos. And also what I do is I also toss in some juice. I toss in, I toss in some jalapeno juice. So you type in that. So that can get kind of nasty. You spice it up pretty good. Now if you're making it for other people, if you're making it for other people, then you don't really mess with it. You don't really mess with it too much. You just, uh, you don't get it spicy. Like me, I cook for myself and I like, I like stuff really spicy. So if you look, Look, we're, we're heating this now, so we're getting this all going. All goes in here now. See, there's the. I got to break up those greens because they're they're pretty well, and I'm sure they're healthy as heck. But this is like all out of the can stuff. But this will feed. You can probably feed ten people with this if you're at a party. This will last me. I throw it in the fridge because I live by myself. I throw it in the fridge and I nibble on it. I brought an extra tomato because the tomato stuff. This uh, juice kind of dries up. You eat a lot of that your first dishing. Then when you want to heat it up, you just add tomato juice. Throw a bowl in the microwave or whatever, and then add tomato juice. So I'm, I'm getting this stirred up. i got to put, even, even though I'm going to put some pepper in it. Get some pepper in it. Toss a little salt. Got to get some more salt in it. Uh, also with the, with the, uh, Okay, let me, now we're going to go over here, we're going to go over here and check our noodles. Uh, so our noodles are getting done. So them will all be drained, we got the green peppers in there, they'll all be drained. And this is going to taste so freaking good when I get her all done. It's called the welfare dish, the KW welfare dish. And uh, I mean I grew up, we were so poor growing up, my mom... A lot of times we had powdered milk and noodles. And then when she could afford it, we had tomato juice and noodles. That was a huge treat for us. Tomato juice and just noodles. Then we start hunting, living off the land as us kids got older. Shooting squirrels and deer and all that stuff. Then we got meat. Then we, we, we made the dish would be hamburger, hamburger, noodles, and tomato juice. That's what we kind of more or less lived on. But uh, So anyways, we go back to here. And let me get her going, and, and uh, we'll add that eventually, drain it, add it, and uh, we'll come back. Okay, this has been cooking for a bit yet. This has been cooking for a bit. So, I drained my noodles, and I'm going to pour them into this now. So let me, uh, so you can see this. I drained all my noodles. Wow. Oh, we gotta scrape this up. People starving in the world. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't, you know, not get every piece out of here. Okay, so that's in there. Hopefully you've seen that. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so now I'll stir it. I think you can see it here. Let me zoom in maybe a little. 
maybe a little here to, as you see me stir this baby. And we're, again, we're not professional. We're not professional. We're just typical. Oh, let me get it over here. My bad. My bad. I'm trying to get the camera angles. Whoa, look at those greens. Look at those greens in there. I denta. Look at those greens. I got a cramp in my elbow again. Another, another, another cramp in my elbow. Whoops. Another cramp in my elbow. Oh, that just happened to get in front of the camera there. Oh, nothing like a cold beer after a 50 hour work week. So here's we are, we're cooking this now. You see the steam coming up, whoa. And I, we'll have to check it out. We may need more tomato juice in here already. I don't know if we have enough tomato juice. Uh, you should see that uh, and it's going in here. But this is it, folks. This is what it looks like. Uh, my welfare dish, goulash, uh, no cholesterol. Again, there's absolutely no cholesterol in this. So I got my cholesterol testing in about three weeks. So you can go pig out, drink some beers. There's no cholesterol in beer, nuts, fruit, and uh, none of this. And now if I toss in meat, then you got cholesterol galore up the ass if you toss in meat. Because always remember, uh, cholesterol is animal products. Tomorrow I'll have a veggie omelet and, uh, uh, and for breakfast. But this is good. This is cooking really well, folks. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of messed up. So, anyways, I'm gonna let you go. This is uh, this is my uh, vegan goulash uh, welfare dish, and uh, you, this right here that I'm cooking would feed at least 10, 10 nice bowls, ten nice bowls, and uh, kind of make it how you want it. So, anyways, K Dub, K Dub in the kitchen, baby. Uh, ten four breaker breaker. Uh, we'll talk to you later. I'm hungry.